Hello and welcome to another Demis Helen tutorial. We are looking at using Lufticus, which is a free EQ on a synth. So it's more popular to use this synth. I've covered it before on drum buses, uh, predominantly. Uh, you can use it on your mastering channel if you're doing your own mastering. Um, but can you just use it on a synth, like just any synth lead? So we're looking at this one here. Um, so once it gets to this point, uh, we'll look at how we can use some of the features of Lufticus just to brighten it up a little bit because it's a little bit muddy at the moment. Um, so Lufticus is an EQ, it's got uh, six points in total, so really five points on the EQ spectrum and then it's like a high booster on here, so it's just like a high shelf. Uh, we have the trim feature here for gain reduction. Um, and then we have an analog setting and a mastering setting. So, here we are with the melody introducing. Okay, so this track needs a lot of work, but first I want to make that melody sit a little bit further out in the mix rather than it being buried in the same frequency range as this synth here. So they're very much in the same position on the keyboard, but we want it to stand out a little bit more. So let's have a focus on it. And we're gonna use this high boost feature here. So I'm gonna hit 10K uh, to start with, and then we're just gonna boost this uh, knob. So you can hear it's getting a bit sparkly. We'll just crank it all the way up, see what it sounds like. So you can hear the different settings there. High shelf boost at five kilohertz, and at 10 sounds, sounds the best. So let's just get about there, sounds quite nice. Adds a little bit of twang onto the top. So let's listen to it now. Suddenly it stands out, maybe a little bit too much, but before we had this. Okay, so we're just going to use the trim feature. Okay, just to bring it back down to volume. So before and after. Okay, so it's sounding good. Uh, what we'll do is if we put on, again, obviously a Pro Q. This is coming after on the mixer. So this is first, then this is after, so we can see exactly what is happening. So if we just bypass it, you can see a lot of high details been lost. We get a bit more high detail back. Now we can affect certain bits. We've already got quite a lot of roll off, so we don't really need to do anything, uh, but we could tame these areas here, just see what it sounds like. So if we hit here, it tells you it's around 485 hertz. Okay, so we've got, so we'll say 500 hertz to round it off. So we've got 640 here and 160 here. So I'm gonna take it, that is our uh, range that's gonna be closest to it. 640 is about there. So it's just a little bit further up, obviously but we can cut more of that section out or we can actually increase it and you can see the volume levels have increased or we can reduce it so it's actually staying below the line but uh, we want to keep it so we have those harmonics so I've just dropped them a little bit we're not doing too, anything too drastic uh, and we don't need to do anything with anything else because we've already rolled the bass off Okay, so we've used the uh, Lufticus on there. I'm just gonna remove Pro Q off there because we don't need it. So we've made a dra dramatic difference there to that. So now this synth is sounding a little bit nasally. So let's take a look at what's happening on here. Uh, bearing in mind, this is an old track. So I'm just going to load Lufticus on here as well. 
here we are. Okay, so let's pick 10k again. I just want to make sure that little melody is going to stand out more. Okay, so now I'm just going to remove some of these lower detail. Um, I'm not liking, again, some of the detail that is coming with it. Uh, let's just solo that totally on its own. So the best thing to do, just have a mess around, see what you can come up with. So there is our section that I think is interfering too much. So I'm just going to drop that out a little bit. So you can hear that. And that just thins it out just a little bit. Uh, it's losing a lot of weight on there, but there are a few things that I'm going to be putting in there to kind of regain that weight. I just don't want it in that sound. Just increase it a bit more. So before we had this. On this sound. So we've added a bit of sparkle and removed some of that 160 hertz nastiness. So technically, because we are very limited to the bands that we can actually affect, it's not working too great for this particular synth. Uh, if we was to now load Pro-Q3, uh, come on. So here is the offenders just here, I think. So if we just remove that for a second, in fact, just delete it all together. And bypass it. That's the offending area. I won't drastically cut it like that. Uh, I am trying to cut out a bit of that whistling. Uh, but we have gone here at 349 hertz. And as you can see, from 160 to 640 is quite a large jump. So that's it's something you can't just make things sound nice. Great for drums and mastering. Uh, not so much on mid-range synths, I, I would say, uh, but definitely for the higher melodies that don't require uh, any bass. Definitely worth using Lufticus on there, and obviously on drums, it's going to work beautifully. Uh, let's just have a quick look on the kick drum. So, bearing in mind that this is a fairly old track. Kick drum needs reshaping, but what we can do here is get rid of the 10 hertz. We could add a bit more in there. Add a bit more chunk in there. Add a bit more snap. And then before and after. So bearing in mind the kick drum isn't fantastic, but taking a look at the song now. And then turn off Lufticus for the kick drum only. It doesn't have any bite in the track. It, it sits nicely, uh, but it doesn't have any bite. And that does. And yeah, of course the volume is raising a bit, so let's just balance that volume back out. has a little bit more bite in it, just a tad. So, uh, yes is the answer to using Lufticus on synths. Uh, you you can use it on your higher synths, uh, but because you've got that 160 hertz to 640 hertz jump, any of the low mids essentially cannot be controlled by this so you wouldn't be able to do anything in that area but for uh, your top synths and maybe the sparkle on pads you can add sparkle with these and especially the high boost feature 
um, and kick drums are suited for this and drum buses so everything drum related works really well and then obviously mastering which tells tailors uh, it a little bit more to work a bit more subtly as you use it rather than being really really harsh so uh if you enjoyed the video let me know in the comments below drop me a like and also subscribe if you're not already two videos a week and uh, it's the March Marathon, so it's every day of March is a video upload. So